how to create a photo slideshow on canva hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i am going to show you how you can create your own photo slideshow using a free tool for design called canva all you have to do is to uh, go to canva.com you have to sign in with your account and you will be guided to this platform or this landing page the first thing that you have to do is to go to this search bar right here and all you have to do is to type on the search bar photo like this photo slideshow slideshow and you will be good to go when you finish typing this photo slideshow you click simply on enter and you will be guided to the photo slideshow templates right here I am going to let you see some of the templates that they have they have some free templates and also some paid templates you can see here there is a lot of uh, useful and great templates that you can choose from you can edit them uh, for free it is up to you I am going to choose for example this black vintage Father's Day I think this is the template that, uh, that I am going to customize click on customize this template now we have a lot of frames that you can see right here we can go ahead and uh, simply select the photos delete them and I am going to put my photos I will let some of the photos and uh, delete the uh, the rest of them uh, for this is for the first for example uh, slide I am going to add some uploads let's go ahead and put this this is the photo frame that you can add you can add a lot of uh, photo frames uh, you can choose from elements for example photo frame let's go and select photo frames like this photo frame and you will be seeing uh, these frames here we have the circular one the rectangular the triangular and whatever you want from these here we have different shape of the uh, photo uh, frames I'm going to uh, continue putting my images I'm going to put this image right here this one right here and finally this one not finally but this one and that one this is the for the first slide I'm going right here to delete those two I am going to put these right here I'm going to put some photos make this bigger I'm going to crop it a little bit and make this and also make this little pretzel right now like this and I think we are good to go for the second frame for this third frame I am going to uh, delete these photo frames that they have added uh, I am going to delete them and add my elements which are these photos frames I'm going to add this one make this like that and add one of something like this and also I'm going to put a portrait like here this is the portrait now I'm going to choose some photos on uploads and then I can put them also on this uh, page I can put this right here I can put a photo also right here this is the photo and also I'm going to put this right here now let's go for the fourth um, uh, frame I'm going to delete these photos and I'm going to add some frames also let's go ahead and put uh, different frames like this you can put these are especially for photos I'm going to put uh, some photos and add it right here I'm going to put a photo here and a photo behind it so it will be looking uh, some uh, effects I can also add a photo without a frame it is uh, optional or you can go ahead with this one now let's go ahead and you can also add a lot of effects let's go and add some effects for the photo slide here you can put these uh, photos and make we have here right now we have the duration as you can see it is a video I'm going to put the duration 
we have right here a moving text also we have uh, the photos these are the photo slides I can add some effects and add a uh, transition between them I can put for example this transition right here and for this one I can add another tra uh, transition such as flow this is uh, cool I'm going to add another transition for this one which is I'm going to put this uh, let's go with this slide you can choose and uh, control the duration of the slide you can put also the direction of it and you will be good to go and I will let for example this one has a filter on it uh, I think yes it has a filter on it for the vintage or the old photos all you have to do when you finish setting up the photos or the slides you can see click on present and see it before downloading you can click on present and you will see it on the full screen right here we have the presentation this is the first one the second one the third slide with the transition the fourth slide and etc now let's go and uh, put some uh, right here some texts mm, let's go generational. now I'm going to put this souvenirs from all over the world like this and simply you have to put it right here it has an animation I can go ahead and put another animation for it it has a fade animation you can put a pan rise you can put for example a pop animation wipe blur it is up to you I am going to put this succession this will be good and I will see from the beginning of the video right here we have the duration I can also put a music if you want uh, and I will I have to put some copyright free music or it is up to you to use whatever you want after you have finished everything you click simply on share and then you click on download now we have the format you have to select the format as a mp4 video this is the uh, format that you have to uh, select and click on download and it will be downloading the file that you have right here all the slides the 16 slides I think will be downloaded it will be taking some time I will let you see the uh, end of the download and the presentation now the download has been finished and as you can see here we have the file I will we'll click on open file and as you can see here we have the photo slideshow created on Canva it looks uh, awesome the background is perfect and the transition are on fleek all right here we have the photos as you can see it is uh, very simple to put the photos and also to get a great slideshow that was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and see you on the next one.